Hey guys, Spooks here. Um, today we're going to play a little game called Burn Me Twice. It's actually been on my list of games to play for a while, so I'm hoping that it satisfies. Um, just a little heads up, uh, this next little while videos may not be as energetic, just because I have no energy um, from all the pills that I'm on, also kind of in a lot of pain. So... I also might look a little more pale than usual, but let's not worry about that. Let's just play the game. All right, starting new game will delete all your previous progress. I don't have any previous progress. I swear, I never opened it up. Believers, raise your torches for there's a witch among our ranks. Light the pyres, burn the heathen. May your faith never falter before the great lady's light and her seven saints. I don't know anything about this game other than it's like a murder mystery. I thought it looked very interesting and kind of fitting, so I've decided to save it till October. I think we can hear Toby in the background. I might hurry, this might click me out of the game. If it does, I'm sorry. No, just kidding. Oh, wait. I'm going to turn it up so you guys can hear the game a little bit more. Oh, somebody's upsetty. And awake. Wow, you either have really long legs or, I mean, really long arms or really short legs. Are the preparations ready? There's no need to be so impatient. Everything's going smoothly. That's for me to decide. Hold up your end of the bargain first. Still suspicious. Everything will be fine, you'll see. I've already waited too long. I want results. Oh, you'll get them even before the long night ends. What is it right here? It's time to raise the curtain. He who lies forgotten in the prison of blood and bone shall heed my call. He'll sow the seeds of discord into this world, but he shall raise it with fire, leaving behind a dead wasteland. For only then will he fulfill our desires, as is written in the stars above. Uh, ow. I wonder if I'm the witch in the rings. Oh, this is my trial. Abigail von Rattenhart, the witch employed by Santa Luniera's Inquisition, accuses Dr. Fausto of being responsible for the plague's spread in our peaceful village. And through witchcraft, no less. We know that feats as such. We know that feats as such are possible through magic, but accusing Dr. Fausto is a very grave matter. Dr. Fausto is an honest, hard-working man. I don't think he is guilty of anything. Nobody will believe you just like that, witch. You better show us some evidence that may prove a connection between Dr. Fausto and the plague. It's just your hat. Cliché, but stylish. I don't have any evidence that isn't my hat. A hat? How is that related to the case at hand? A wonderful show of your incapability, witch. If only you had explored the cursed slums more thoroughly. Maybe you would have found the proof you need. If this goes on, I will be forced to have you burned at the stake before this trial is over. Back at square one, it seems. Is Dr. Fausto responsible, or is he not? Keep it on. Lady Abigail, I will ask you again. Do you have any evidence that may prove Dr. Fausto's guilt? This is burn me twice, so I'm assuming I get burned once. I couldn't finish my investigation. <laughs> this is a waste of time. I grant you a last chance to prove your usefulness, Lady Abigail. 
Maybe one of the townspeople has seen or heard something strange lately. Have you found any worthwhile testimony? All I have is my hat. I swear I wrote some testimonies on a piece of parchment, but I seem to have misplaced it. I see that that witch did not care to talk with civilians. This tribunal determines that there is no conclusive evidence which may prove the accusations made by Lady Abigail Ron. Lady Abigail von O'Rattenhearts. Dr. Fausto Osler is innocent, and the plague but a fleeting epidemic. As for you, Lady Abigail, may the holy flame purify your corrupt soul. And the great Lady of Light pardon your sins. Whip burn me once. Burn me twice. I like it. I like the animation a lot. Interesting. I'm just chilling in hell. Oh, hello, devil. Malab. Fate can be ironic, can't it? You being consumed by flame. Listen to me. You really desire this to be the end of your journey. I need another chance. Wise choice. You're dead, but I've brought you here to offer you a gift. I can take you back in time if you so desire. It could be a chance to mend your errors. Tempting, is it not? You're a cautious witch, aren't you? All I ask for is to be your shadow. To witness all your feats and failures, and see for myself if you're worthy of my help. Well, then wouldn't it be too late? Do you accept? So it is. You can't fall back on it now, Witch of the Abyss. Now, just as I promised, let us go back to a time when you could still save your life. Learn from your past errors and change your fate. You'll only die when I ask you to from now on. Shoot, where was I supposed to look more in where I might find some evidence? Because that I'll remember. All I know that I'm in a lot of pain. I've been trying to see my future for days, but I can't see anything. Or get back, witch. Do not come any closer. Witch of the Noctorian Kingdom, you've made a terrible mistake by crossing the border. You thought you could hide it from the Inquisition. You're very far from home. We, the Kingdom of St. Lunaria, do not tolerate the presence of witches. I'm afraid that your fate is to burn at the stake, as have the others. But first, could you tell me your name? Well, at least you're sincere, Lady Abigail. I formally welcome you to Dustenburg, our little border town. I was going to order your execution for this very night, but it seems you are in luck. A new outbreak of the plague has appeared in the cursed slums. That's where I was supposed to go. Very similar to the one we dealt with 20 years ago. My inquisitors are worried of catching it while they investigate its source. But witches like you are immune to sickness. Let's make a deal. If you find the cause for this outbreak, I will set you free and let you return to your kingdom. I will order one of the inquisitors to supervise your investigation. Once you've found all the clues, talk to him to present your findings in court. That's all. I need to turn up the game a little bit. We have arrived at the hospital. Dr. Fausto Osler is a very respected individual. He is the only doctor in these parts, after all. Look for him. He'll be able to explain what the plague is far better than I could. When you're ready, talk to me again to go to the cursed slums and investigate there. I'm not going to lose sight of you, witch. 
This job is a guaranteed promotion. Okay, give me one second. I'll be right back. I'm back. So I said to talk to everyone. It looks beautiful tonight, thanks to the full moon. The door's closed. There's someone inside. Is that Harry Potter? Harry! Oh, you! You! I know you. What do you want? Is something the matter? Nausea? A headache? That wasn't helpful. Don't rush me. Soup's almost done. I will serve it soon. Oh, oh hello. I thought you were Celine, my boss. Are you a visitor? I'm afraid I can't help you. I have a lot of work to do around here, given our large number of patients. But if you're looking for Celine, you'll find her in the chapel. I swear she prays more than she cooks. The chapel is at the end of the hospital. You can't miss it. I have to go back to work now. Sorry, but I can't help you anymore. I need to look at everything. Smells wonderful. Pumpkins. The right man would leave all this food here. At this rate, those sticks are going to be as stale as a shoe. Ew. Okay, quarantine. Yeah, I'm sure that's a great place to go. I need to talk to you. I see nurses have begun to begin wearing those scary looking dark gowns. Do they really protect against a plague? I doubt it. The doctor says he's going to extract some of my blood again. Interesting. Nurse, could you fetch me a jar of water and my ginger pills? Uh, oh, God, stay away. You could get infected. No, I can't. I'm a servant of the dark. Watch out. Watch out for death wanders about. Oh, you look ticked off. The patient infected by the plague are just behind that curtain. It gives me the creeps. I heard you witches are immune to illness. Lucky bunch, huh? There was another nurse in here. In this hospital wing, we treat patients who suffer from the plague. We can heal them, but only if they get here on time. Help me. She doesn't move. Oh, he probably did. So, ooh. Uh. Not casting. No, I didn't want to talk to you. Go away. I need rest. I feel so weak. That's probably the chapel. I don't want to go over there quite yet. I do want to go in here, though. This looks interesting. Professor's room, apparently, he also lives in the hospital. Oh, this. I need this. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, I'm just going to take this with me then. This looks like the cube from Hellraiser. Always on time, aren't you, Abigail? The spirits told me you'd come, and I see you've delivered. She is waiting for you. She wants to guide you through this confusing road. They need you, Witch of the Abyss. Use your powers and fulfill your calling. What? Well, that's pretty neat. Greetings, Witch of the Abyss. We were expecting your arrival. Welcome to the realm of the dead, where souls wander. You may speak and seek the help of any spirits on this realm, but first you need to talk to the saint. She awaits you. One of us will guide you to her. I wish you good luck. I need that box. Follow me, Witch of the Abyss. I'll take you to the saint. Oh, well, I guess the box will just stay over there. This is neat. Because you're right, the armor must weigh a ton. Is this the same? Geraldine, you're here. We can finally get acquainted. I am she who wandered this plane long before anyone else, the oldest of souls revered by the others. And you are the Witch of the Abyss. Your existence ethereal, for yours is the blood of Sharon. That's the reason you can roam this realm. But we don't have much time. We must be swift in our discussion. Tustenberg is no ordinary town. Something sinister hide. Something sinister hides and stalks its streets, and it's your duty to stop it. I wish to guide you through your doubts and show you that which cannot be seen. Guide me. A witch's power is always linked to a curse. 
I know that yours keeps you from visiting this realm for longer periods. But now, more than ever, you need to pay attention to the moon on your hat, a well on the realm of the living, for it will shine brightly whenever you are near a source of spectral energy. A reminder that you are never alone, witch of the abyss. Farewell. Now you know this place's secrets. Return to the realm of the living and fulfill your destiny. Good luck, and may the great lady of light watch over you. Another box. A journal. I need that. A book of fairy tales. It's about two children get lost in the woods and attacked by a witch. Stereotypical. A cradle with the carved in words that read Mara, our dear daughter. Oh, that's sad. Tagather reads Mara's room. Should I not come in here? Ah. Uh. Yep. So I can go places I couldn't normally go. There was this door that was back this way. I probably need to talk to all you guys. I will in a moment. I'm betting yeah, this door is open. Let's go stuff. Ah, oh, shoot. There we go. Square-like indentation. Oh, that's where the cube goes. They would have a staircase. I found out where the cube goes, but now i got to go all the way back up here. But my brain is working. Ugh. Mm. No, no, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, oh crap, there we go. Yeah, I know. Keep her going, keep her going, keep her going. No, there's spirits around there, I need to, I do need to talk to them, but I wanna, it fits. Well, 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 what do we have here? It seems like it's meant to store some sort of fluid, but I'm not sure as to its contents. Probably blood. This must be Dr. Fausto's diary. I'm sure you won't mind if I take a quick look. Which entry should I read first? Ooh, my daughter. I'm a father. I'm the luckiest man alive. Vanessa and I have decided to name her Mara, just like her grandmother. My sweet little mouse might still be small, but I can't help but wonder how she'll be when she grows up. Will she be as cheerful and inquisitive as her mother? Or maybe she'll take after me. I just hope she didn't inherit my stubbornness. Mara and Vanessa died last night. The great plague got them. They're gone. Why do I bother writing these sentences while I'm still shaking? Is it a worthless attempt to stay, sh stay sane? All I have now is my faith in the great lady. But even the most convinced of devotees can break. I know that what I am doing goes against any godly will, but there's no going back now. It took us a year, but the ceremony is almost ready. I'll bring the pails to the cursed slums. Only beggars and the homeless gather there. Nobody will suspect me. I, Fausto Osler, will finally reclaim that which the disease took from me. Oh, neat. Well, you're crazy. I mean, that's definitely sad. I can't even imagine that, but it's still kind of crazy. Plague Doctor's gown. Could it be Fausto's? Probably. This monster machine is pumping. These monstrous machine is pumping a sort of liquid through its pipes. It smells bad. It's probably poop. Several pills filled to the brim with human blood. Very suspicious. They're all labeled for the slums. Yeah, I'm sure that's that's normal. Okay, so I need to go talk to these ghosts. Doctor Festo doesn't let anyone in his office. Could he be hiding something? Why, why, yes, you definitely was. We can't see the living here in the realm of the dead, but we can still hear and feel them. Hospitals are pain-filled places. Contrary to what the living believes, spirits don't enjoy living in places like this. Makes sense, I wouldn't either. Only those of us who died a, a regretful death are trapped here. Those who die peacefully simply vanish. I wonder where they go. Oh, he did die. Patient doesn't move. Oh, okay. I don't know if he knows he's dead. 
You a new one. You'll probably end up leaving just like the rest. Nobody enjoys being near the place they died in, after all. Which is fair. It's super sad. So did he turn his home into a hospital? Oh, wait. There's, there's someone else. She's waiting inside. Good luck. Over to you guys. Welcome to Dustenberg, Witch of the Abyss. Pleasure to meet you. The spirits of Noctoria told us all about you. Witch of the Abyss, how may I help you? What's your name? I'm a free spirit. I have no need for a name. You see, some of us still use the name they had while they were among the living. But I see that as a futile attempt to hold on to the old existence. The difference between prince and papa is blurred within this realm. We're all the same. Of course, men refuse this at first, but they all accept their new nature and become one of us eventually. Okay, goodbye. Welcome to our world, the realm of the dead. Okay, we're going to leave that episode there. Um, thank you guys all so much for joining me. If you like that, let me know some of your thoughts down below. Maybe what you think might be going on and see if you can solve this mystery for me. But until next time, stay spooky. Doodles! Doodles!